Good day, good day. Welcome and thanks for joining for today's video. I've partnered with Alchemy Trades to do their tutorial videos. And to start, if you already know about Alchemy and are just coming here to get a better idea of how to install, buy, and set up your first bot, then don't hesitate to use the chapters below to get to the spot you need. If you're just hearing about Alchemy Trades from this video, then I might suggest heading to the Discord and getting familiar with the team and the great community that they're building. If you decide to purchase the bot license, which costs $500, then definitely come back here and we'll help guide you through this process. The first tutorial will go through a complete install and tour around the DAP, as well as setting up your first bot. The first pairing that we will use is a great one to learn and practice with. We're going to use Cake and BUSD. As Cake trends up and down consistently in a sideways motion, this makes it a really good candidate for grid trading. It doesn't really have any large rallies or large drops in the token price, so this helps keep us kind of in a certain grid area, which we'll learn about as we go through. So let's head over to the install now. But before we do that, as always, please like and subscribe, not only for me, but to draw more attention to this video for Alchemy Trades. In the description below, I will have a link to their Discord. Please don't hesitate to come by and at me and say hi. In order to get your bot, you'll actually pull up their Discord, which again, link will be in the, in the description. You'll then come to support ticket, click on the one for purchase a license. Once that's done, it will actually open up a ticket between you and them. You'll choose how you want to make your purchase. They've given quite a few options, I believe, for different tokens that they'll take in payment. Once the transaction has been completed, they'll then give you a license key, which you can use with your install, as well as some new Discord rooms to chat in. All right, so once you've gotten your license, you'll then go to the links inside the Discord and find alchemytrades.com. You'll come here and click on download, choose your operating system, Windows in this case, and then your download will begin. Once it's complete, I do recommend installing it into one of your user directories. That's what I was recommended by the team. So show in folders, double click. You can then copy this and then head over to your whatever drive you're using and the users. Once you go inside there into the users, then you'll paste it. Once you've got it installed, what I would do then is pull the executable file down to your bar at the bottom. That'll pin it there. And then when you want to run it, you'll just be able to click on that right below on your pinup bar. Just makes it easier access. So I was given V4 before the release tomorrow. So I'm going to take you now to my starting up of that one. So what you're going to do is click on the icon you created on the bottom. And now we'll lead into my video that I already did of me starting up the program. The other thing to keep in mind is this does run in the background. So uh, you do need, sorry, you have to go more info and then run anyways. So once you're done that, it'll start pulling it up. Now there is a, this that runs in the background and then there is a website that kind of acts as your whole setup. So as you can see right here, a couple of things to keep in mind, uh, you do need to have your computer on. It cannot go into sleep mode. Uh, in other words, it, it'll stop trading if it does. So do make sure you have that set up. You could run it from a old laptop, uh, some other device that you don't need all the time and keep it running all the time as opposed to on your primary computer. There is, I guess, a way to do it on the cloud, uh, on cloud systems, uh, which I will look into and possibly do a, a tutorial video on in the future. Otherwise, welcome to Alchemy Trades. Now that you've opened up the, the app, uh, there's a little bit of a walkthrough now uh, that there was not there before to let you get a little look around. We'll go through it together and make sure that we're really clear on what you need to do, as well as a couple of tips and tricks that I think would be helpful as you journey into this realm of Alchemy Trades. So next, First thing you need to do is click select text. It's, it will not allow you to do pretty much anything else until you do that. In today's case, we're going to be using pancake swap, but you have many options available to you. Once you've selected that, you now see that the gas fees. So if you click next, it actually talks about showing you a live update of the current gas costs on the chain, the slow average and fast speeds res respectively. So everything's pretty similar right now. Click next. Now let's enter wallet information. So pretty easy to get the first part. You're going to just click on your wallet, copy the address and paste it into here. Once you've done so now you're going to enter your private key in order to get that. I'm not going to go through the full process, but I'll give you a pretty good idea. You're going to click on your wallet again and the three little dots here, account details and export private key. It'll ask you to put in your MetaMask password and then the key will wind up here. You'll copy and paste it into here. I'm going to pause the video for, for a moment while I do that. All right, once you paste it into here, as you can see, it's all hidden, but again, don't give that out to anyone. It's only stored on this computer, uh, as it says right near here, and it will never get transmitted. Uh, and you should never share this private key with anybody at Alchemy Trades or in crypto ever, period. Full stop. All right, now we'll hit next. 
Welcome to Alchemy Trades. Uh, if you need an update to your wallet, change any other settings uh, or add tokens to be saved, you click on the settings icon, which is right here. So that's our next step to go. As you become more familiar with Alchemy Trades, you should check out other settings. So again, actually I did notice, but there is a little arrow here. So he's pointing all the next steps, which is awesome. Click start. All right, so in here, you're gonna have to enter the license for your Alchemy Trades. Once it gets tied to your computer, the only way to move it right now, I believe, is to talk to the to the developers. Uh, later on, there might be a way to unhook it and rehook it, but for now, you need to actually check your license, and then it can and then it will be tied to only that computer. When you were in the Discord and made your purchase, the license ID would have been given to you there. So I'm going to go grab mine right now. All right, and once pasted, you can verify. So license is verified. Uh, you can also run in demo mode just to kind of test out the product if you'd like. Otherwise, you just click save and you're ready to go. So now we can do some things. But before we go any further here, I just want to go through a few other settings. Please select. Oh, so I guess we unselected our decks when we did that. So go in here, back to pancake swap, select. And there we go. So uh, user settings. Uh, so this is if you were going to do a simulation, it gives you an opportunity to change it to whatever amount you want. So if you'd like to be a a millionaire or whatever, you can go ahead and do that. Deck settings just checks your slip slippage. So right now it's set to a very low limit. This deck actually is quite powerful and it's a lot, uh, lot lower slippage than you need with most decks, which is quite nice. And telegram settings. So if you'd like to enable telegram settings, you can actually go in here and get buy and sell updates on your bot while you're away. And you just enter in your, your uh, telegram ID right there. And then wallets we've already got set up. Deck selection is just kind of handy if you want to take away some of the options when you're clicking here to select your decks. So if you know you're never going to use KyberSwap or Elk Finance or whatever, you can uncheck them, update, and then they'll be taken off for you. And that can go with any of the chains. Add tokens. This one here is kind of handy. So when you know what kind of pairs you're going to do, what I might suggest doing is pulling up. Not all decks do this, but PancakeSwap, for instance. You can pull that up, go into Trade, and let's say we want Cake. Oops. Usually it's a little easier to click it, but you got to be pretty careful. And it says token address copied. You can now copy it and add, and now it'll be in your options right away. The other one that you'll want to do is uh, BUSD. So there we go. It's open here. Copy address and paste that one and BUSD. So this is the first one we're going to do today to set up. It's a nice simple one that seems to perform fairly well. Uh, obviously there's lots of options inside the uh, Discord if you'd like to have some chats with them. A lot of people post their own. The nice thing about this whole system is there's really no competition here. It's there's nobody against somebody else. There's no being the last man out of a token. It's it's just good team fun. So if you see any trades that you're interested in, uh, you can also post them there. If you're like, Hey, should I do this? Whatever you want to do, the discords are going to be a really good support group as time goes on and it's getting bigger and bigger. So on to the fun, let's go to grid. We're going to start a new grid. We're going to select our tokens or coins for this part. What you're going to do is you're going to, this is going to be the token you're trading. This one's going to be the one you're taking profits in. So that's the order you're going to want to do that in. And so we've got some funds there, pair found. Now you're gonna create your upper and lower range. To help decide what you'd like your range to be, we'll usually take a look at maybe something like deck screener and pull up the cake token. This is not a science. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of ideas of what we need to look into. Uh, obviously talking to the chat and doing a little bit of research of your own is how you'll kind of come to where you think you might wanna go with the spread here. So just looking at a few days, we've kind of hit lows of 4.2 and highs of 4.68. So you want to make sure you have something that's going to include that. In this case, what they've suggested to me is 4.25, so right around here, to 5% as well in case there, we do continue this uptrend that we're going on right now. And if it keeps going higher, you want to take advantage of those wins and losses. So we're going to put that in as our, as our range. And over time, I'll do maybe some more tutorials on this stuff uh, as I learn it be better and can help you guys out with that as well. Sorry, upper, we're going to have to go with five and lower. We're going to put the 4.25 and then find our grids. It'll do a little search. The amount of grids will kind of be determined by how much money you put in. I believe this goes up and down based on that. If you have more grids, you have more buying opportunities, so it'll buy smaller amounts as it goes, the price goes down, and it'll buy larger, uh, smaller amounts as the, or sell smaller amounts as the price goes up. So you want to 
I'm going to put in a few of these in here. I've got a larger amount, so I'd like to see so that kind of how it rolls. I've usually only done six or seven because I've been dealing with smaller numbers. So we're going to go ahead and put, let's say, 12 for this one. So you enter 12 grids. In here, you can also do a stop loss if you wanted to make sure that it's sold if it hit a certain price, if you think there's a chance that it'll the token will tank. And this just gives you some breakdowns and start grid. So it's going to submit transaction, awaiting confirmation, and it'll just finish off the transaction once it's ready. And complete. All right, now that your grid's all set up, we'll go through a couple of details here. Up at the top left, there'll be a timer that'll tell you how long you've been in the trade. I Somehow I reset it so it didn't show up right now. Across the top, you're going to see these three different spots here. Grid down on the left. In the middle, you have current grid. And on the right, you have grid up. Inside here, the lines that are actually here are not actually accurate to the grid right now. At some point, they will be. But for now, they're just represented by the chart. Moving up and down will be accurate up at the top. Buys and sell will happen based on which grid you're in and whether you've moved up or down a grid, all based on the algorithm that's created by Alchemy Trades. Down here is the price that it is right now. The total is how much your, your value of your wallet is right now between the pair and how much you've increased or decreased in, in the moment. When a sell happens, it will be a realized BUSD gain, so it will actually take profits in BUSD, and it'll show what you realized your profits as, as opposed to just what your profits could be right now if you were to close at the bottom. Right here, we'll show you all the trades that have been happening. So because I got in in the middle, it started some trades already uh, based on what its decision process is. And so these ones here will then become cells, hopefully if it starts going above into other grids. In here, you can control whether you'd like to stop the bot from happening. I've seen it at one point. I'm not sure other uses for this, but obviously if you want to end it completely and just realize your wins. I've sometimes done it too if I'm getting really close to the to the, my top grid, which in this case would be $5, but it's not quite hitting it. I've had times where it kind of just waved inside the grid. So sometimes I maybe decided I wanted to go to a different one or something, and I might close it out right then at that nice high and maybe wait for the token to come down. Or uh, one other thing to keep in mind is when you are dealing with um, the cake, for instance, as you saw earlier on, it had been trading at a little bit of a lower rate kind of down here. So when I first was using it, I was using a grid that kind of went in between here. Later on, as time goes on and it starts creating a new, uh, a new area where it's kind of uh, pacing, then you may actually need to create a new grid for yourself. So you may have to stop it like somewhere here where it was doing this nice tear maybe at some point you need to change it so your parameters are a little bit more in where you need them to be. Because again, if your high, for instance, here was four and a half, you're missing out up here because it's not going to trade there. It's going to close off. All right, and that about wraps things up. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out to the in the comments below or come by the Discord. I look forward to documenting my success with Alchemy Trades as I grow my 250 and will be sure to take you along for my journey as I diversify into different pairs over time. As always, please like and subscribe. It does really help support the channel. And again, in this case in particular, I'd love some more eyes on Alchemy Trades for the team as I think they've got a really great product here and they're constantly evolving it, updates to make it better, more powerful. Uh, they really are passionate about this project. So I do recommend uh, giving them all the attention you can and help uh, keep them going. Thank you so much and have yourselves a wonderful day.